Yo, 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 what's going on? This is Terrell, Hall of Fame, D-Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. Guaranteed you will hear the little mini-me's in the background making more noise than they're supposed to, but that is what they do, so we won't worry about that. Well, let's jump right into it. Man, oh man. Um, Happy New Year's, first and foremost. Uh, thanks for everybody who uh, reached out. Um, Life happens. <laughs> and, and let me just say this. I, I will say this. We're going to start right off at the top. Um, you will notice that this page in particular gets a uh, jump in videos. And what I mean by jump in videos is that um, my goal this year is to basically average a video a day. So even if I miss a day, you might see me post up two other videos. And it will be on a multitude of topics, as you see with the uh, podcast. We will talk about many of things, not just dogs. Um, I think it's hard sometimes to run a, a podcast, uh, looking at everybody else's podcast and things, and sticking to just one topic. So sometimes you are, guys are right. You might hear me talk boxing. You might hear me talk a little weightlifting. You know, we might talk about whatever scandal is going on in the streets. We're going to have a lot more fun. Uh, we're going to talk about, of course, shows and definitely dogs. But we're going to expand on everything we're doing here because uh, sometimes it can get a bit dry and it's not quite as um, entertaining when we just get to the same topics over and over again. We have to refresh the topics. We have to talk about other things. Uh, just because we're dog people don't mean that we're not watching the Super Bowl or we're not watching the playoffs. Just because we're dog people don't mean that we're not into soccer. Uh, yeah, I got kids that love soccer, so I watch a little soccer from time to time. Uh, what's going on in the music world? Uh, what's going on with the movies? Uh, a good movie, a bad movie. We, we might touch on a little bit of everything. Good drinks, bad drinks, <laughs> good food, bad food, whatever the case may be. Uh, we definitely are talking dogs, but you'll see us go into other things and uh, have a little fun with those things too. But right now, we are going to jump right off top into this hairless Frenchie thing. Good Lord. Um, What do I think of the hairless, excuse me, the hairless American bully, not hairless Frenchie, but they have those two. <sighs> For, for years, I've been saying the same thing, and I won't change my tone on that, is that it's sad that our community, and I do mean the whole entire community, has come to a point to where they don't really understand that consistently doing weird shit with dogs, it's a price to be paid. Um, certain breeds have certain issues. We understand that there's always the guy, uh, Kendrick Perkins, that sits there, and we'll talk about him too. But uh, this sits there and pretty much, um, you know, if I can make something different, it's special. When uh, it's worth a lot, it's this, it's that, and the other. But the truth of the matter is with the dog community, it's supposed to be the opposite. And what I mean by that is, is that, um, and I don't care what breed it is, your consistency level, not your difference level, but your consistency level is what generally is supposed to push you to the top. Uh, some of my favorite breeders around the world in a multitude of breeds, the one thing that you look at with their dogs is you're like, damn, each and every single dog that they have looks the same. That's pretty cool. That's where we want to be at. That's where we want to be at as a community. That's where we want to be at in general. The sad part is that it doesn't happen that way. Too often uh, we have people who um, have, for whatever reason, tried to uh, make a dollar or two off of whatever it is that they're doing. And now they're just basically destroyed the breed. We've seen it uh, throughout the exotic thing, which that was supposed to be its own breed. The American bully has been deteriorated greatly in health. And now we're on to the, uh, you know, the hairless phase now, I guess. And what most people don't understand is even with the, the hairless dogs, there are issues that come along with it. Of course, you have issues with the skin. Of course, you have issues. One issue that a lot of people don't know about is they have serious issues with their teeth. A lot of them will either not be born with teeth or their teeth will wear down severely and very fast. It's the same gene that makes them um, hairless. And there's other ge genetics that, that are there. But as I've explained to you guys in many of the processes is that even with the uh, dogs that are 
been that have been hairless for quite some time one of the one of the bonuses that they have in dealing with this hairless genetics is that genetics are good and they are bad so the things that may have destroyed their genetics uh in many many ways they have now sort of accommodated to make these things better and uh, i'm trying to find a proper wording to it but w as i brought up with the teeth some of the dogs who uh are you know, hairless for a long time. They have built genetics that have allowed them to, although they have this problem with the teeth uh, missing or, uh, you know, deteriorating faster, they do have a higher propensity to fight that off because they do have that problem. Their genetics have built themselves towards being able to uh, take that problem down. Well, if you mix it with dogs that don't have the genetics there to, uh, to fight that off, you start to run into more problems. And sometimes you run into mutated problems to where you wonder what was the genetic issue here that not only took away from the dog's hair, but it took away from his teeth. And can this gene expand? Um, it can. Uh, it's been proven that it can. And it, it can it can come into other uh, issues, including bone issues of, of sorts. Uh, many of different issues that basically it's a lack of, you know, and it's causing the dogs to be worse off than what they are. Um, dog breeding is a science. It's something that needs to be done over time. It needs to be perfected with every great idea we have. Uh, it's going to take some work to perfect that idea with every great idea we have. It's going to take some work to understand the mistakes that are made in those ideas and working those, uh, working those situations out. We have not gotten to the point in, a, in this community that people believe that things need to be worked out. We have people who want to go forward, double down, and go even harder on the bullshit that they've done instead of working harder to fix the issues that we've had. And I think the longer that this continues to go on, you're going to see us get into more and more trouble, legal trouble, um, trouble with the dogs. It's just so many different issues that, that is going to go on from this um, designer breeding. And we're already starting to see the results of it. Uh, <clears throat> you'll see in this series of videos, I speak about the um, situation in the UK. And a lot of that came from designer, uh, designer breeding uh, situations in these... Um, you know, dog rescues and different places of that sort that have to deal with the overflow of dogs. Um, those situations are getting worse and worse and worse. That comes from a lot of people just wanting to be designer breeders, you know, never asking the questions of what's going to happen with these dogs. But, um, you know, this video was more uh, long and I'll go deeper into the, uh, the hairless, you know, whether it's Frenchie, uh, the hairless um, American bully uh, XL experiment that they're doing now. But ultimately, uh, you you guys will see that this is not going to work out well. I'm going to tell you that right now. And uh, I'll talk about one that is uh, pretty much coming to fruition in a bad way right now that we've been talking about for a long time. Until next time, y'all, much love. Peace.